Television time remaining here as we get set for a one fall bull rope match featuring two legends, two men very familiar with each other, Barry Windham and the legendary American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. We understand that D'Lo Brown is collecting himself in the uh, locker room area. Hopefully we'll get a statement from D'Lo before this hour is over, but D'Lo Brown scored a big, big victory getting the measure of Shane Douglas and Raven in that hard-fought triple threat world title match that we just saw a few months. Where in the world is Barry Windham going? Son of the legendary Blackjack Mulligan, member of the Four Horsemen, former world champion, multiple time world tag team champion, and we'll see what happens in this matchup of two greats. All right, from Austin, Texas, way for 300 pounds, the American Dream, Dusty. I'll tell you what, this is a thrill for me. This is the first time in my years in this business that I've had the chance to call a match involving Dusty Rhodes. Growing up here in the sunshine state of Florida, listening to Gordon Soley each and every week on television, the American dream Dusty Rhodes was an icon and still is to this day. We're gonna settle an old score here. The feud between the Mulligan Wyndham family and the Rhodes family goes back years, generations. I know Dusty perplexed as to the reasons why Barry Wyndham has done the things that he has done in his career. Why he's chosen the career path that he has. Dusty's known Barry his whole life. Since Barry was a baby, Dusty Rhodes has been a part of the life of Barry Windham. Now these two men are gonna be locked wrist to wrist. Bull rope match. Old fashioned feud, we're gonna settle it in an old fashioned way. That massive cowbell linking the uh, rope in the center. That's a weapon, it's all up for grabs here in this one. Barry Windham jump-starting things here on the American Dream, the former three-time world heavyweight champion. You'll hear the clanking of the cowbell from time to time. Big, thick, heavy rope. Both men connected at the wrist. And already, Barry Windham utilizing that cowbell, working on the upper shoulders and the back of Dusty Rhodes. Dusty goes down, rolling away, but Barry linked to him by the wrist, goes right out after him. Right to the forehead. What a great crowd we've had here. What a great crowd every time. Maximum Pro Wrestling is on the marquee.
Fans all across the Sunshine State of Florida enjoying tremendous professional wrestling action. Boy, Barry Windham just runs Dusty Rhodes face first into the steel railing. And it looks as if Dusty Rhodes has been lacerated. Dusty's been in so many wars over the years. So many legendary bloody feuds as we know. Everyone who grew up a Dusty Rhodes fan has seen the American dream. His face a crimson mask on more than one occasion and Barry Windham zeroing in on that area. Oh my goodness, now biting. Where did it all go wrong for Barry Windham? Why would a man who treated him like his own son, why would he, why would he go after Dusty Rhodes in this manner? Listen to this crowd. Barry Windham looks as if he's getting perverse joy out of savagely brutalizing Dusty Rhodes. Now using that rope to choke the air out of Dusty Rhodes. I had the chance to talk to Dusty today before this broadcast, before this matchup. It was the first time I ever got to meet him. What a, what a legendary figure. You talk about a man in the 1970s was as big a box office draw as Muhammad Ali. Finally achieving his dream of becoming world heavyweight champion defeating Harley Race, went on to defeat Ric Flair two times for that gold as well. And now Dusty, the bionic elbow lands, connects. A second one and Barry Windham's eyes roll skyward. Oh, and he just reared back from Sweetwater to drill Barry right between the eyes with that cowbell. Well, I'll tell you what, D'Lo Brown is just back here at the broadcast booth. D, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I got to tell you right now, it's not the time for me to talk about a match with Raven and, and Shane Douglas. Right now is my time to talk about the legendary Dusty Rhodes and, well, the legendary Barry Windham in a match I've always wanted to see. So I'm as a fan sitting out here. I'm not a, I'm not a talking head. I'm not the world's heavyweight champion. I'm a fan sitting back Ooh. enjoying a Texas bull rope match. Boy, this is old school at its best right here. Barry Windham has just been lacerated by Dusty Rhodes. Kevin Kelly and the Maximum Pro Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion D'Lo Brown are calling the action here this one. A Maximum Pro live event. You know, Kate Kelly, I've got to tell you, we're sitting here live. We're sitting here in the heart of South Florida, and we've got two of the legends in this sport, Barry Windham and the American Dream Dusty Rhodes in a bull rope, a Texas bull rope match. It doesn't get any better than this. And every time MXPW comes to a town around near you, every time MXPW is having an event, you will get action just like this. A great blend of legendary names like Dusty Rhodes and Barry Windham and more, plus new stars, stars on the horizon. Fans have, will be introduced to new great talent each and every week, plus of course, Names synonymous with championship victories like D'Lo Brown, Shane Douglas, Raven, the list goes on and on. Oh, and now Dusty Rhodes is using that cowbell to his advantage. Looks like Barry Williams getting a little bit of what he dished out to Dusty a little earlier. He's getting the blunt end of that cowbell right upside his forehead. And I don't think Barry's liking it too much. I know that uh, Dusty has been very influential to you in your career, D'Lo Brown. I know uh, it's a chance every time you get a you get time to talk. Oh, oh my blow. goodness! Every time you get time to talk to Dusty, it's an education in and of itself. If you sit and talk to Dusty for 10 minutes, it's like a 
10 year experience in this business. Every time I'm around him, I learn something new whether I want to or not. Dusty Rhodes is an encyclopedia. Dusty Rhodes is a professor. He's a teacher oh. of this business, of this industry, and it's a pleasure to be around the American dream whenever I get the opportunity. Well, it's a shame that Barry Windham doesn't feel the same way, just has hatred for the American dream. And now these two men get nose to nose and oh, knees to knees in the center of the ring. Oh, it's a slugfest. The steal a word from my old man, JR. <laughs> it's a slobber knocker. <laughs> well, now Barry Windham has got the vertical base laying all his 290 pound frame across Dusty. It's going to make it hard for the Dream to get that necessary oxygen, oxygen, D. See right there, this is why Barry Williams a ring tactician. He is lowering his weight every bit of 290 right on the, the upper back and neck of the American Dream. And it's going to take every bit of the Dream's energy to try to muscle up out of this. Looks like the Dream's trying to get a little something going on here. But, Dust, you know, Barry is a big man. The second wind preeminent in the sails of Dusty Rhodes. But perhaps Mickey J is the referee there. Perhaps Mickey J will be witnessing the end of an era, the end of the American dream right here this week. Looks like a dream's fading. Looks like Barry's got him right where he wants him. And, and oh, Barry would have, he, oh, he's hammering him. He's using a bionic elbow on his own. Barry Windham looks as if he enjoys each time he strikes Dusty Rhodes with furious vengeance. I think I know why Barry is so violent towards Dusty. I think he's jealous. I think he's jealous of what the Dream has accomplished. I think Barry has wanted to be that World Heavyweight Champion on three different occasions. I think Barry to be the man. Wait, are we, are we going to get the three count here? The, the One more time, and it'll be all she wrote. We'll call for the bell, and it'll be it. Mickey J. The, oh, no, 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 no. Dream's starting to fire up. Is Dream going to come around? Is he going to wake up? Is the Dream going to wake up? The lights were about to go dark. But maybe somebody paid the electric bill and the power's about to go back on for the American dream. I think the power charge is coming. Uh, no, 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 he's, fa he's fading back down again. See, that's 290 pounds rested right on the neck and the head of the American dream. It is just too much weight for one man to bear. Dusty doing all he can to try to fight out of this hole. <laughs> well, if you can't fight your way out of it, well, use a cowbell. It works for me. That's right. Dusty using the cowbell to extricate himself from the grip of Barry Windham. Extricate? Man, come on, KK, that's too much. You got a man fighting for his life out there and using words like extricate. I got all the five-star words here for you this week. Both men now back on their feet. Dusty Rhodes, Barry Windham, Texas Bulldog match here on Maximum Impact. A block, a jab. Oh, hey, another jab. Oh, oh here the, the we dream, go. He, the, the, another jab. The dream is firing up. Wait, wait, we got another jab. Oh, and flippity flop fly elbow! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'll tell you what, it is a pleasure to sit here and be able to call the flip flop and fly from the American Dream Dusty Roads. My God, I grew up watching the flippity <laughs> flop fly. Now I've seen it live in a living color. I'm loving life right now. Barry Windham's not loving life. He's in a. Oh my goodness. See, let. He'll take the low road every time. Barry Windham is jealous of the dream. He's jealous. Barry Windham just misses with the knockout blow of the cowbell strike. And now here we go. Dusty Rhodes has just taken off the bull rope. He's not going to be able to use it anymore, but that's okay with the dream. I don't think the dream cares about not using the bull rope. I think he's going to oh, the elbows. Bionic elbows, center of the chest, and this one is over. He got him. The dream got him. The celebration of a legend continues as Maximum Impact is just about ready to say goodnight. We want to thank you for joining us on the Sunshine Network each and every Friday night at midnight. Check out Maximum Impact. D, it has been great to be here with you. I got to tell you, I just saw a classy encounter from two legends, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, Barry Windham. I just